This is the Briggy M1. It's a handheld vacuum that comes in at just under 45 pounds. And here it is. In the box, it comes with this very nice carry pouch that you can put the vacuum in. And this is the handheld vacuum itself. I really like the design of this. It seems very premium. It's heavy duty. It's got this nice metallic gray design. Plenty of features, but it's very easy to use as well. You just have a simple power button that you hold to turn it on and a simple tap to turn off the vacuum. It's powered by USB-C. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery inside, which will give you roughly around 25 minutes of wireless power, which I think is great for a handheld vacuum of this size. Inside the box, you also have plenty of attachments. Now there's three ways you can actually use this vacuum. You can use it as a simple suction vacuum. You can also use it as an air duster and also as an air pump. There's various attachments here that can do those variety of things. Of course, you have yourself the USB-C cable to charge it. Always recommended to charge it up fully before you use it for the first time. Use a manual in case you need any information. This is the dual vacuum attachment that you can use as a brush or in multi different positions as a standard suction tool. You also have this pointy one, which is basically for the air blower. This is for the air pump. And then you also have a pipe here, kind of like a hose pipe that allows you to reach those hard to reach places. And I will show some examples of using all of these different attachments in various different places around the house and even in my car. Not only is it priced very well, and I think that is an excellent deal for the quality of equipment that you get from this. I can see myself using this more often just because of the convenience of having it quick and easy to use grab, go and vacuum than any of my other cordless vacuums. I have a large wireless cordless vacuum that I've reviewed previously. I also have a robot vacuum that I sometimes use maybe to do my bedroom upstairs or the hard floors downstairs. I don't use those two as much as I predict I'll be using this one. You have this switch just at the top which allows you to do one touch empty from the dust bucket just there at the top. All you have to do is point it down, flip the switch and then it empties directly into your bin very quick and easy. You can also twist this Simple, remove that, clean the filter, clean the compartment inside, and then pop it back in, twist, and you're ready to go. When you do turn this on, it actually starts using the vacuum suction from the top and blows out air from the bottom, just in case you wanted to alternate between the attachments. It's actually not so loud. Obviously, you guys will hear it because of my sensitive microphone, but I'm going to turn this on now just to give you an example of how loud this is. Of course, for you guys listening to this, that may seem loud because it has been picked up very closely to my microphone, which is just to my side. Of course, when you do house cleaning and you're using a vacuum, noise levels is probably the last thing that's on your mind. Getting good suction and making sure this thing does the job is probably the top priority. So what I want to do is showcase the capabilities of this by using various different attachments. So let's go ahead and look at that now. So starting off with the vacuum, one of the most common areas that I would probably use this for are my shelves. There's a lot of dust that gets gathered on these and just having this quick and easy access to this vacuum would really help cleaning this up. I also use this on my sofas because when I'm watching maybe my Netflix, I usually have some snacks, have some food and crumbs naturally drop on the sofas, inside the gaps, on the back and down the sides and this makes it really convenient to clean. TV stand is also an, an important place where dust gathers both outside and inside. So cleaning the inside, even on my sky digital box and the shelves inside is very important so the kitchen is probably the messiest place especially when it's cooking time you can sometimes drop a lot of crumbs and a lot of food bits on the kitchen top on the island and this makes it so much easier to clean quickly and easily down the edges of the walls this is a quite an awkward place as well and this makes it so much easier to just give a quick vacuum down the sides to make sure it always remains dust free. In my bedroom, I also have these shutters. There's a bit of an awkward gap there between the window frame and the shutter frames. And this is the perfect complementary cleaner to get the dust in between those, which I haven't been able to do with any type of vacuum. And now I can do that with the Briggy M1. Even cleaning all of the crumbs, maybe I'm watching a TV show whilst I'm in bed. 
Having to clean your bed quickly and easily with this is making it so much more convenient. And then also radiator tops is another place where dust gathers and this just helps using the brush to clean that. Inside the car, obviously this is the most common area where you'll get all of the dust from your shoes onto the car mats, as well as the seats. I will clean the mats more often. As you can see, you know, it very easily picks up with the strong suction. And I was pleasantly surprised at how quickly I was able to remove the dust from the mats, including, you know, hard bits of mud. And this just makes it so much easier to use going forward as like an in-car vacuum. And I might even keep this in the car from time to time. Now I've just connected the extension hose to make it reach awkward position so inside the car door you know you can point the hose down inside there and just vacuum those really hard to reach places that you can't do with traditional vacuums now moving on to the air blower i will use this on my keyboard naturally most people with the keyboards will have some type of dust or some crumbs from their food snacks they're inside the keys and to use this on your camera lens is also equally important to make sure you get the perfect footage and also inside some machines like your printers, thermal label printers like mine, just to clean out all the dust is quite important. And then finally, to finish off, all I need to do is one touch, empty the bin right into the dustbin, clean it out. And then the last step would be to just simply wash it because the 100 milliliter bucket there is washable, including the HEPA filter. And then it is also reusable. So that makes it super convenient. So overall, I'm super happy that I have this now because it makes it so much easier to clean those hard to reach areas, especially those areas that I probably wouldn't have cleaned if I didn't have this. And I haven't cleaned for such a long time that things have just been gathering dust. I've now eliminated that by having the Briggy M1. Comes in at just under 45 pounds, which I think personally, based on the suction power, the usability, the portability, and the ease of use is such a bargain to have the link for that is down in the description below. If you guys have any questions about the Briggy M1, make sure to drop a comment down below. I try to help you out as much as I can. Make sure to subscribe. I have new videos out every week with cool gadgets just like this, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.